This video is brought to you by SoccerLoco.com. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U10 at checkout to receive 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my pros and cons review of the Adidas Copa Mundial. In today's video, we're going to go over the major positives, the major negatives, and even some neutral points I have regarding this particular boot. So if you did have it on your radar for your next potential pair of soccer cleats slash football boots, this video definitely should help you out a lot. Now keep in mind guys, if you enjoy the pros and cons series on my channel, be sure to support this video with a like. And if there is another shoe you'd like to see a pros and cons review of, be sure to suggest it down below in the comments. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. In terms of quality, the Copa Mundial is definitely one of the best boots currently on the market. It features some amazing quality kangaroo leather. The sole plate construction, while very simple, feels very solid and is built to last. You can see that the sole plate is riveted to the upper, so again, durability is not going to be a concern. And the shoes are made in Germany, which really says it all. Modern soccer shoes as a whole have become incredibly lightweight, and in comparison to the Copa Mundial, yes, there is going to be a noticeable difference in weight with the shoes on your feet, but for the most part, the Copa is not so heavy to the point where I would say it's unwearable. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind, this is a uh, used pair, sorry, in a size 8 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that they weigh in at 10.2 ounces. So in comparison to, let's say, some of the modern leather cleats on the market, like the Legend 5, um, the Nike Premier, even Adidas' own 11 Pro model, they're all going to weigh about an ounce or two less than the Copa Mundial, which isn't a significant amount of weight, but like I said, something that you will notice. Of course, if you're comparing it to something like an F50 Adi Zero, a Hyper Venom Phantom, a Mercurial Vapor 9, these are significantly heavier. But again, if you're looking for something that's going to be ultra lightweight on your feet, this isn't necessarily the best option. But if weight isn't a huge concern for you and you don't mind having a little bit higher quality materials, a little bit better comfort, at the expense of a little bit of extra weight, the Copa Mundial is an absolutely fantastic option overall. If you're looking for a shoe that provides a high quality leather feel for the ball, the Copa Mundial, in my opinion, is the industry standard, which is why it's really stuck around for so many years now. It features some of the nicest and some of the highest quality kangaroo leather you can find from any shoe. And unlike most modern boots nowadays, the entire upper, including the tongue, is made from the same thickness and same high quality kangaroo leather. It's a little bit thicker than what you're gonna find from most modern soccer cleats, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just provides an ultra cushioned, really soft touch on the ball that honestly, if you've never experienced a pair of Copa Mundials and you're looking for something that's going to be a great overall leather experience, to me, the Copa is one of those shoes that everybody should try at one point in time just to experience how good a simple kangaroo leather soccer shoe can be. One neutral point that I have regarding the Copa Mundial is that yes, it's an old school design, Adidas has not changed it, and they've been making it the exact same way for years and years and years now. So to a certain extent, it does lack modern innovation. But is that necessarily a pro or a con? I wouldn't really say so. It's more a matter of personal preference. If modern innovation is important to you, then something like the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 is understandably going to be a lot more appealing. This is arguably the most modern kangaroo leather soccer shoe we've ever seen. It's got a different stud pattern, a different fit, a different liner, the ACC on the upper. There's a lot going for this shoe that the Copa Mundial simply does not have. But at the same time, if you want something that's a little bit more old school, very traditional, very simple in terms of how it fits, feels, and performs, then again, the traditional layout of the Copa Mundial is still a great option, even in comparison to a modern boot like the Nike Tiempo Legend 5. Extra bulk is definitely a concern for people who are more used to wearing modern styles of soccer shoe, and that's definitely understandable because the Copa Mundial does feature a thicker than average leather upper, especially in comparison to, like I said, most modern shoes. It has this very large flap tongue. You can fold it over, you can keep it up. A lot of people don't like it for that reason. Luckily, you can adjust it yourself. I actually did it with this black pair right here, where I removed the flap altogether. It does eliminate some of that extra bulk, but for the most part, this is not going to provide a bare foot feel by any means it's very soft it's very well cushioned and that extra bulk does add that next level of protection but again if you're looking for something that is going to be more along the lines of a barefoot style soccer shoe the Copa Mundial just is not for you if you're one of those people that struggles to find the proper fit and just don't find soccer shoes comfortable, 
The Copa Mundial is the solution to all your problems. It is the one shoe on the market that truly will fit all foot types. And in terms of comfort, it really is, again, the industry standard in my opinion. At, at this point in time, I've yet to find a soccer shoe that is as comfortable as a pair of broken in Copa Mundials. The leather is extremely soft, very flexible, and forms to the exact shape of your foot. And that is, again, very crucial when it comes to how the Copa Mundial will fit. These are not sized like standard soccer shoes. It is recommended that you go an entire size size down. So normally I'd wear a size 9 US, in the Copa I wear an 8 US. So again, if you're looking to order a pair of these, go a full size down from your normal soccer shoes, unless of course you're sizing from another pair of Copas, in which case just get the exact same size. But it will stretch to fit, it will feel a little bit snug from right out of the box, but they stretch a lot in pretty much all directions. So again, you want them to fit snug from brand new in order to have the proper fit after break-in, because if they're a little bit too big, they will overstretch on you. But again, in terms of overall comfort, these are absolutely incredible, and whether you have wide or narrow feet, the Copa Mundial is an absolutely fantastic option for pretty much anybody. All right, guys, sit for my review of the Adidas Copa Mundial. This is a fantastic shoe overall, a true classic, and many people would argue the best shoe of all time. Now, I just wanted to mention that the negative points that I introduced in today's video are going to be negative points for everybody. Yes, the shoe does weigh a little bit more than average. Yes, it does have a little bit of extra bulk, but that's part of the traditional design. This is, like I've mentioned before, a shoe that has not changed for a number of years now and is really considered a classic. So because it is a classic, it's hard to fault it on those elements that it does not include that you would expect from a modern day soccer shoe. And that's really the only reason why I considered them negatives is because in comparison to a modern shoe, it lacks in those particular areas. So that's something you have to determine for yourself whether or not that is a concern for you. I think for most people it isn't. It's more of a mental concern as opposed to an actual one. So again, if you're looking for something that really is the ultimate in terms of comfort, fit, and having a true classic kangaroo leather touch on the ball, the Copa Mundial is one of the best shoes still out there on the market after all these years. Now, if you guys are interested in more information on the overall performance, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, link down below in the description. I'll also leave an annotation on screen to my review slash playtest videos where I take some free kicks, do some juggling, and you guys can actually see the shoes in action. So go ahead and check that out. I will also leave a buy it now link down below in the description if you are interested in ordering a pair of Copa Mundials for yourself in either the classic black and white colorway or all five Samba Pack colorways that are still available and have not yet sold out. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave those down below in the comments. All of my social media information also down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.